What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. So instead of working outside in the barn where it's very, very cold and rainy, I decided much better idea work inside. We turned our dining room table into our workbench for today because today we're going through and rebuilding the calipers for the Jetta wagon. Again, these things came out so good. Shout out to Conrad. The color is absolutely beautiful. So front calipers right here, rear calipers right here, all the rebuild parts for the fronts. We have all the new Pistons, seals, everything you can need to rebuild them, and then everything for the rear. Uh, I got some tools over here, some grease to help put the pistons in. We should have everything we need that is assembled today. So in yesterday's video, I was saying I need to do some more research for the rear calipers because these carriers here, because these calipers came off a four motion car. Now this same brake set with the 312 in the front with the vented 256 in the rear also came on the 337, uh, the Anniversary GTI, the GLI, I believe as well. So same setup, but since this car was four motion, it had the rear axles in the back. This carrier is slightly different. Now they do make an adapter kit. I've seen with different companies as basically a little like space that goes right on this side and spaces the carrier just a little bit further out i want to say to make sure the rotor is centered inside of here now there's two options for that either buy the adapter kit that's a little plate that goes right here or i guess you could just use washers i would guess work the same or if i got the anniversary gti or gli a uh, rear copper carrier that would work perfectly to go on a front wheel drive car so uh, i don't have time now because i want to install these tomorrow to actually order the adapter bracket which i should have done a while ago but not the biggest deal. Martin does have the right rear carriers. They aren't powder coated, but they're just like normal black that I could use with these calipers. Or I thought looking at, I'll put a picture on the screen, looking at the adapter bracket, it looks like I could just use normal washers right here to make the sizing and spacing right. And that should work no problem. So more than likely, I'll just use some washers, space it out properly, get longer studs, and we should be good to go. It shouldn't be too hard to do. But yeah, these should be fully assembled today and then tomorrow going on the car. We have a special guest. Look, he's here. Mr. Martin. Hello, good Hello. sir. Yeah, too cold outside, inside. Okay. We work inside today. <laughs> so right now we're going through opening everything up, just laying it out. I have the rest of the pieces for like the e-brake setup over in the box over there. It's kind of cool, this kit gives you everything. Like these seals actually go to like this section back here, which I don't think I'm gonna pull that apart, but is it new pistons, all this one, the outer boot, uh -oh. inner seal. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay. we decided inside as much better for today I think so. much better so nice i was going color. through yeah it's kind of nice so going through now just make sure we have everything and then uh we get started fronts over there rears here and then i have all the pieces for like the e-brake stuff in the box down there and then a couple of tools here and there but should go smooth i hope i think it seems to fit so far so that's a good start We are making solid progress so far. Pistons, boots, and seals are in. This one for the brake line's in. We are now struggling to remember how the e-brake bracket and this bracket go. They're actually labeled. This one says R, and that one says L, but I'm not sure this bracket, which way it goes. I think I have photos somewhere I need to check, um, but fronts are done as well. Look at that. Casey actually did this one. Super solid. First time building coppers, how was it? Easy. Easy, solid work. Easy ish, yeah. Getting this seal properly inside of here and the piston down, kind of tricky, but both fronts are done. Uh, we got the new bleeder valve all nice and shiny right there. Just gonna figure out how these go in the right orientation, and then uh, pretty much done. And we were gonna, we briefly thought about doing the seals that are like inside here in the rear, but then uh, we decided against that. And the piston's already inside, so less work, the better. It all worked fine before, so. We're gonna bypass all that. So we have like these boots with the side pins and a couple other things. And as soon as we get these oriented properly, we're pretty much home free. <laughs> so as always, big thank you to Martin. Bye-bye. These things came out sick. Love the color. What they cleaned everything. 
All good. I'll toss the pads in, but I wanted to show off how nice like the, the new seal, the new piston looked. But everything's together, everything's cleaned. We got these all set properly. Looking good. So at this point, our calipers are completely done. Pads are in. They are ready to go. About to head to Marvin's shop, grab the rear wheel bearings, uh, the larger dust shield. And I'm also gonna grab the GTI carrier just to compare it to this one, whether I'm gonna use that one or get some spacers for this one. I just wanna see how it sits and how different it is from this one. But either way, we'll go to his shop, seal that kind of stuff, grab the new pieces, and we're gonna go. But these are sick though. What do you think? Those look really nice. They came out awesome. And everything was the right pieces, the right parts. So that makes me happy. Actually, Putting these through was one of the hardest things. For some reason, they just didn't want to side to the caliper, but we got them. Ah, they look so good. I can't wait to see these in the car. Always got goodies for me. Brand new rear dust shields to fit the larger uh, rotor now. And then some bearings. And then I brought this as well. I want to see the GTI one you have. I just want to compare and to see how different they are. So I showed you the um that space that they make. And it doesn't look that different, but I just wanna see. So that one in his hand is the anniversary carrier versus the four motion carrier. It's a bit. I mean, the space that they have, I think they said it was like 5.5 millimeter or so. That it spaces back. I mean, that would I mean they look so similar. That would be 5.5 millimeters, like, put this onto here and then, like, we need to measure it out. Yeah. Maybe plus, like, 5.5 millimeters, that actually made sense. See, I was thinking just put, stack some spacers on the back side of here and put it where you need it, but, I don't know. So since we have this one here and also this one and a spare rotor, we're going to do some testing real fast. We have some washers like, to see. Well, that's pretty darn the way around but like that's pretty darn close i mean you got some room to play but not much yeah so the spacer from ecs tuning is 5.5 millimeters on vortex they're saying it should be closer to six millimeters but these spacer these washers here is at 5.8 that's what yeah. those are 5.8 so up. though maybe one more one less just to get it centered to here i think it's doable so i that one so this is the anniversary caliper Oh, so just, I guess, do I just turn around? Oh, it is different. But I guess I could just take this piece of there from my finger off. I mean, maybe you can bend this and just put screw this yeah. directly under the caliper, you know? I think so. Yeah, because this one, like I said, the foremost one, this goes underneath down this way, like on Casey's car. E but E-brake stuff looks the same. Yeah, E-brake looks the same. But yeah, yours goes over, or this one goes under. But you can probably just unscrew it. I don't think I have that block, though. That's a difference piece. I wonder if that would. That's on the car. No, that's normally on the car. Even is it already? Yeah, oh, be. is it already? Okay. So then maybe I won't need this piece at all yeah. to swap for my car. Okay. I mean, I have the four motion line too, just in case, but I just wanted to make sure I had everything before tomorrow and don't want to do this last minute. <laughs> but okay. At least now I can see what that one's like. Yeah, looking at my car now, I can see the brake line back there. So that one should go to the top of this one. If I just take this piece off, and we should be good to go. Should be, but I think we're okay. All right, so we got new shields for the back. We got new wheel bearings for the back as well. And then I got information on how my brake lines are gonna run. So I also got the spacers we need for these calipers. So I think for tomorrow we are all set. I hope, sure hope. All right, so we are back home now. The last thing I wanted to do to be fully prepared for tomorrow, make sure we had everything, was pull the stock brake lines off the four motion rear subframe. That way I had those for the four motion calipers in the rear. But uh, seeing these ones now, they're a bit corroded all through there and they're just not in the best shape. And then also talking to Marvin and seeing how the anniversary GTI rear calipers are, I don't think I need to run the brake line under like these ones go. I can just use my standard brake line off the car, run it to the top like normal and be 100% good to go. So I don't think I'm gonna need this set up uh, at all. So with that being said, and the parts we got from Marvin today, I think we are 100% set, ready to go to put the brakes in the car tomorrow and get that thing ready for inspection. The goal is to have inspection Tuesday morning and pass first try. I'm hoping they see my shining brakes and go, clearly this guy's a race car driver 
instant pass. This is what I'm hoping for. We'll see. Also talking to Martin today, uh, he was telling us if you lock the brake pedal down, like push it to the floor before you start pulling the brakes off the car, it'll keep the ABS system closed. That way, no air can get in the system. And also when we pull the caliper lines off, I'm going to cap the lines to minimize the fluid falling out. I just want to do everything possible to get no air in the ABS system because then you have to do VCDS and a pressure bleeder and like bleed the whole thing. And it kind of sucks. I don't want to do it again. So hopefully tomorrow, minimize all risks. Keep the brake pedal pass down, uh, cap the lines, one and done kind of thing, and be out of there and hopefully not too long. wagon is put away and tomorrow them crusty things are going away look at these things crusty as ever now they have gotten better my light keeps dying they've gotten better so i burned through that layer of rust but uh they're not great they're not great they're rusty instant fail for all this stuff all right this side's dead annoying me but tomorrow this car's getting fresh brakes and she's gonna be looking mean. So even though I've already showed everything once, I got it all laid out again on the table and it just looks, it looks so cool. Gotta show it one more time. Just because having all the pieces in one spot, all nice and new and fresh off the car, just looks awesome. Dust shields, wheel bearings for the back, brake lines, calipers, these things look so fresh. Again, shout out to Conrad, amazing job on the powder coat, all the goodies. Y'all stand to the camera earlier? I'm pretty sure when they see the red copper is gonna go, oh, clearly race car driver, instant pass. Whatever. Instant pass, like look at this, it's beautiful. Instant pass, everything's shiny new. We have all new bushings in the back. Everything's, we're gonna pass first try. They said they're like, oh, these are modified. They're OEM though, and they are modified, they but that. they're factory. And they say that, I'm gonna do a big burnout and tell them, sucks to suck, I'm out of here. See you later, nerds. That's what I'm gonna say to them. No, we're passing first try, I can feel it. I can feel it. And these are, we'll sit just like this in our new rear dust shield. Again, shout out to Marvin. Thank you for the wheel bearings and the shields. Big help for the setup. Just so nice. So many nice pieces. I love seeing it all out like this. So I think with that, I'm gonna end this video here. I was gonna have one long video of assembling all of this stuff and then put it in the car tomorrow. But I'll break it up. And now you guys have videos back to back days versus having one in like two or three days from now. So just an extra video for you guys. Uh, anything from you? Anything to end the video off? Need to say? No. Nothing at all? <laughs> no. Nothing at all. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to thank you for your day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.